Okay, hello Sagittarians. How you doing? This is Keep It Classy. All right, I'm doing you guys weekly reading. I'm calling it weekly because that's the only time I really have to do your reading. Okay, so again, this is your weekly reading. You guys, please like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. New viewers, sit back, enjoy the reading. I hope you guys can gain some insight on something that can help you guys. Okay, from this reading. All right, so what I was hearing, oh, this one was funny to me because I'm hearing um, blue balls. Okay, so um, do you guys got somebody, you know, are you guys holding out on somebody, you know? Because uh, I'm hearing blue balls over here. Somebody got the blue balls, all right? Or somebody have you guys holding out and um, you guys are getting the, the, the blue balls. So somebody, I'm hearing blue balls. Somebody getting the blue balls over you guys. Or this is what um, somebody's doing to you, you know? All right, so that's all I was hearing. It's kind of funny. All right, so let's get the cards out and see what the cards are saying. Somebody holding out on somebody. Somebody's holding out. All right. Okay, so Sagittarius's energy, please. Show me Sagittarius's energy, please. Show me Sagittarius energies, please. So you guys excite somebody or somebody's exciting you guys, okay? So we have the chariot. Ah, first three cards out. Cancer energy. Water, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This is a cancer energy. Um, King of Wands, okay? Aries energy. But they could have some Aries. Definitely they got some Aries in their chart, Sag. So here go Aries stepping in here again. Okay, right next to each other. The full card. Seven of Cups is here. Pisces Scorpio Cancer Energy. Um, the Seven of Swords is here. Gemini Libra Aquarius energies. Five of Cups, Water, Pisces Scorpio Cancer. And then we have the um, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy here, okay? Earth. So let's see what's going on. Somebody, somebody wants to charge for it successfully with you, but they're not seeing how to go about doing that. This, this is somebody who has a lot of passion for you. Um, the intimacy between you and this person is off the charts. There's no other like you sexually to this person, all right? If you're dealing with a, a, a male, maybe the wand is big, you know, pulls a lot of fire, you know, hmm, this person may, may throw out some sperm. This person could have a lot of kids. I'm just saying, maybe they have strong sperm. Maybe the female, you're thick, you know, like they like it, you know, because it's kind of thick. This wand is kind of thick. Maybe you're a full figure person, but they're, they're highly attracted to you. There's no other like you. Again, the intimacy, the intimacy, the sexual bond or the sexual chemistry um, is very strong to this person when it comes to you, all right? And look at them looking over. This person is watching you. They may watch you a lot, okay? Um, the full card, this person coming in wanting another chance. So they're going to come rushing into you wanting another chance. Um, they may even feel kind of foolish by the way they feel about you, the strong passion that they have for you, the strong intimacy, intimacy, um, chemistry that they have for you could have this person feeling kind of foolish over you. Maybe they do foolish things when it comes to you and it embarrasses them, you know, but they keep it to themselves. Seven of Cups is here. Um, there's no other like you to this person. You're everything to this person. Um, you fulfill this person in every single detail that they feel like they need to be fulfilled by. So you fulfill this person in everything. Okay. Seven of Swords is here, but this person doesn't trust. They don't have a lot of trust for, for people or 
Maybe they feel like they, they could feel like you betrayed them in the past concerning this situation, maybe concerning moving forward with them. Maybe they felt like you guys were going to move forward successfully in the past and it didn't happen. So they're feeling betrayed. OK, or this person has been betrayed a lot, so they don't trust too easily. They need to work on their trust issues. So maybe they don't trust anybody when it comes to a relationship too well. All right. Um, Five of Cups is here. Um, Maybe they betrayed you because there's shame and there's guilt here. Maybe they're just innerly conflicted because they, they have, they don't have, you know, um, cause the trust issues. So they're, they're, yeah, they may be very inner, innerly conflicted. I'm um, the Knight of Pentacles. They're planning, strategizing how to come in with an offer to you. And they've been doing this for a long time now. And this person is moving slow. So this offer may come in, you know, it could come in at any time. So I wouldn't sit and wait on it cause they're innerly conflicted as well. So it's like they don't know what to do, know how to come into you, when to come into you. So they're, you know, so it may take a long time before this offer comes in to you, Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius's energy. Show me. Show me more of Sagittarius's energy, please. Show me more of Sagittarius's energy, please. That's too many cards. And they could have a lot of attention, this person. Or they could feel like you have a lot of competition as well. I mean, that you have a lot of, you know, suitors wanting you. Because these cards, look at this. Yeah, a bunch of cards keep flying out of my hand. Too many cards to even put on the table to read. Sagittarius' energy. Hmm. That could be what's slowing them up on coming in because they see you have a lot of attention already. So they got to make sure that they have something good to offer. Maybe they feel like they have to have something good to offer you because you have a lot of attention already. Um, Six of Swords is here. Yeah, this person, yeah, they're, it's taking them a long time. Maybe they feel like you moved to better waters. Air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Maybe they're feeling like you moved to better waters on them. Um, temperance is here. Okay. Patience is here. Maybe they feel like you turned your back on, on them. Or they doubt they could be successful with you. Maybe you got tired of waiting. Maybe they feel like your, your patience has worn out. Maybe their patience has worn out or yeah, and they're ready to rush into you. Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. And express to you how they feel, that they love you. So their patience has worn out. The Four of Swords is here. Yeah, they're going to come in and express to you that they love you. They're tired of waiting. They're tired of being patient in, patient in a situation. Four of Swords. Yeah, they're ready to rush in and express to you that they love you so they can heal things between you and them. Whatever was messed up between you and you and them, they're going to come in and try to heal it by expressing that how they feel about you, that they love you. Okay, um, the hair font is here. Okay, somebody could be married. Or this person wants to marry you. The King of Swords is here. They're going to come out and tell you the honest truth. Maybe they're married. And they're going to come out and tell you the truth that they're married. Maybe they moved to better waters out of a, from a marriage. Because this, both of these are honest cards. So they're going to expose the truth. Maybe this is them just exposing the truth. Somebody could be married and they're going to be honest with you about something. Okay. Maybe you didn't know this person had gotten married. So if this is you being feeling betrayed, maybe you're going to feel like, or you're going to feel betrayed when you find out some truth that's going to be exposed, but they're going to come out and tell you that they love you and um, they want to be with you. They're going to tell you the honest truth. 
to heal things with you. Um, the nine of wands is here. And maybe it was a struggle within their marriage, you know, and they're they're almost through that struggle. Maybe it's a mental and physical struggle. Maybe this person was dealing with some um, mental issues. They had to get mental counseling to help them through. And they're almost through that mental stage where it had them in a depression, had them down, you know, had them in a struggle. And they're almost through that struggle. And when they get through that situation, they're coming in to you, speaking the truth. Maybe they were dealing with a Taurus energy. If they're not married, um, they're going to tell you the truth concerning a Taurus. And that this person put them through a mental and physical struggle. And that could be why they weren't able to move forward with you. This person may have had them stuck. Um, Wheel of Fortune. This, yeah, this was some karma. This person was dealing with some karma. Yeah, with this person. Um, Six of Wands. But they're going to come in ready to charge for it successfully with you in a victory with you, okay? Because they're going to get out of this situation or they've gotten out of this situation already, but it's just taking them some time to come in to you. They said this Harris is energy. They're the high priestess. Yeah, and this is a secret that, you know, they kept, but they're going to come out and be honest, brutally honest with you, exposing the truth, what was going on in their life when 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 they weren't dealing with you. Okay, the high priestess. Um, and this may be a situation where you're gonna need to use your intuition on whether or not to decide to move forward with them, okay? Or allow your intuition to show you things you need to see concerning this person, whether or not you should move forward with them. Two of Pentacles, yep. Because you may be in a situation where you're going to have to juggle with a decision to make. Two of Pentacles, okay? Because this person may not have been able to let go or there could be somebody holding on to them. And they may juggle you just to be with you. So you need to keep your intuition on strong at all times so you can see this person, you know, see if they're telling you the truth. See if they're hiding anything from you. Okay, the Ace of Cups is here. Okay, because you're their fulfillment. You're their true fulfillment. So if they can't get out of a situation or if they're having a hard time out of getting out of a situation where they may be married, but you're their true fulfillment, they will juggle you to keep you in their life, okay, or to get you back in their life. The Knight of Wands is here. All right. This is somebody that's at a distance for, from you. Once they strategize, plan, figure out what it is they're going to come in and offer you, they're going to be coming in, rushing into you very quickly. Um, be careful. Again, use your intuition with this person because they could still have some player ways. Um, this person could still be in and out with you because they may be in a marriage situation or a situation where they're still tied to somebody that they don't really want to be with. But this person at a distance, you may get a visit from this person as well. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here for you guys. So just use your intuition, you know, so you can see it, see what, what it is this person may hide from you coming in because there is secrets here. Okay, there is going to be some secrets that this person is hiding, which is could be that they're going to they're juggle. They're going to try to juggle you because they 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 have a hard time getting out of a marriage or somebody that they're tied to. They could be dealing with somebody that got mental issues. You know, if it wasn't them, it could be somebody that they're dealing with that has mental true mental issues that will cause a struggle in your life if you move forward with them, and that will cause some karma in your life because they're married as well. So if you find out that they're married or if your intuition tells you they're married, do some investigation so you won't cause no um, karma, bad karma in your life, okay? All right. And they're almost through. If they're going through this situation with this person, they're almost through that karma situation. Like I said, you know, once they get through it, they're going to come in wanting to charge for it in a victory with you. But you need to know, you know, whether they let go of things that they need to let go of so you can move forward. You know, with this person on a decent in a decent manner that won't cause you any stress in your life. Okay. 
So I love you guys. Be good. I hope you like the reading. Um, like, share, hit the notification. Okay. Subscribe, new viewers. I hope I can help you give you some clarity on some things you need to hear. I'm out.